How's it going guys? My name is Carl. Today in Power BI, I want to show you guys how to create a date dimension table using DAX. Let's go ahead, jump right into it. All right, so let's just paint the picture. Imagine you had your data already and you had some dates and you wanted to create a more dynamic date dimension table. So the first thing you want to do is come over here to table view. And as you can see here, we have our dates, right? And we can sort these and see that our very first date is November the 16th, whereas our very last date is November the 13th. But we want to go ahead and create a date dimension table to be able to just create a relationship with that date table, right? Because we may want to use month, weekend, so on and so forth, right? How do we create a date dimension table? Well, first things first, we need to come up here and go to table tools. When we go to table tools, we're gonna to say new table. So let's go ahead and click new table. When you go to new table, it's gonna bring up a new table down here, as you can see. We wanna give this table a name. We wanna go ahead and just call this date. I'm gonna call this date dim. And then we're gonna just say equals. Now here is where the fun happens so if you come down here to calendar auto as you can see calendar auto returns a table with one column of dates calculated from the model automatically that's a game changer right so then you have to just do the fiscal year end of month we'll just say the end is December right we'll go ahead and hit enter once we do that what happens magically we get January 1 through 1231-2022. So now we kind of have our date dimension table, right? Kinda, right? It's not complete. So next thing we want to do is we want to add some, some additional things here. So one thing I'll just go ahead and point out real quick. We have the date and time, but all the time is just 12 o'clock. In that particular case, we want to just go ahead and change this to just the date. All right. And we don't want the, I want the formatting to kind of be simplified. So we'll just take out the, the weekday for now, but we will add that. All right. So now we have our date dimension table, sort of. Let's go ahead and add the next thing. So in our date dimension, we have the month, we have the day, and we have the year. So let's just go ahead and add those. So next we want to add the month. So let's just call this the month. So we'll call this the month and this will just be equals to the month. And then we'll just type in date here, date dimension, date. And then we'll close that off. And this will give us the month. Now, what happens is it just gives us the month in numerical format. What if we wanted the month name? How we do that? All right, let's go ahead and do a new column. And then we'll call this month name equals month name. This time we're going to format the date, right? So we're going to do a format. The value that we want is the date value. So not the month value, but the actual date value. And then we're going to do a comma. We're going to format this. And then we're going to say M four times. M. -m, 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 -m. Close that off. And then voila, we have the month name. All right, so go ahead and test this real quick. We'll just do boom, that's December, boom, that's January. So as you scroll through this, you'll see that you can now have the month name, right? Next, what about the day, right? So you're going to follow this same format. So we're going to do the day. Oh, and by the way, if you don't want the full name, you can do the short name. So boom, that's the short name. And if you just want to do like this, that is just the old one. And of course, if you just wanted to have that, so that is your date format, right? So we'll just go ahead and add this back. So just to kind of show you guys that. So let's do a new column for the day. So we'll just call this day equals we're gonna format. We want the date. And then we we'll want to say D. Close that off. Boom. 
So now we have the date. So you see it's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth. Once you get to the last day of the month, you'll see that. January 31, 31, February 1st, 1. Okay, so now we've identified the day. All right. Now what if we wanted the day name? All right. If we want the day name, just do another new column. And before we do that, let's just go ahead and copy this. We're going to do that. We're going to do another new column. And this new column, we're going to call it the day name. So I'm just going to paste the column we had and just add name in there. And then all we're going to do is add in three more Ds. I mean, two more Ds. All right, so three Ds. And then we'll just hit Enter. And now we have the day name. If you want the full name, we'll go ahead and add the fourth D. Hit Enter. So now we have the day name. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All right. That is what that looks like. So now you have <clears throat> identified the day name. Again, if you just wanted the three letter, then you just do D three times. And what happens when you do two? You'll get that there. And we all know what happens if we do one D. All right. So we have the day name. Next on the list is the year. All right. So let's just do a new column. And we're going to call this the year. Year equals. And this time we don't have to do a format. We can just say year. And then we'll just say date. And then we'll close this off. Hit enter. And now we have the actual year. So now we have a month. We have the month number. We have the month name. We have the day, the day name, as well as the year. Now, other thing you want to do sometimes in some cases, depending on how you're looking at your data, is you want to add in a quarter. Well, to do that, just do a new column. And we'll just call this one the quarter. And then we'll just type in, we have a quarter function, right? And then we want to use the same date. Boom. Close that. Hit enter. And now we have identified the quarter. It says one, two, so on and so forth. Now, what if we didn't want it to say one and we just wanted to say quarter two, Q2, right? How would we do that? Well, you just do a new column. And we're just going to call this one quarter name, right? And then we'll say equals. And then before we start doing anything, we're going to do a string. So we'll just call this Q. And then we're going to do an ampersand or and. And then we'll say quarter. And we'll say date. Let's look for our date. Close this off. And hit enter. And now you should see Q1, Q2, so on and so forth. And that is how you add in the Q. All right. Everybody got that? All right. So what else are we missing here? What if we wanted to identify the weekdays and the weekends, right? How do we do that? Well, pretty simple. Okay. So let's just say we'll call this the, we'll say a new column. The way we're going to do this is we're going to use switch. So we'll say switch true come here and the value that we're going to use is the day name we'll use the day name equals Monday and I want that result to be weekday and then I just basically want this to repeat and just change see where I'm going here we just really need seven of these one two three four five six one more seven right so we'll just change this to Tuesday Wednesday Thursday
Friday. Saturday, when we get to Saturday, we know what time it is. It's the weekend. All right, and then we'll go to Sunday. Once we get to Sunday, we'll just close that. So um, everything is going to be inside of this. So Monday, weekday, Tuesday, weekday, Wednesday, weekday, Thursday, weekday, Friday, weekday. Saturday is the weekend and Sunday is the weekend. We could change this to just payday, right? Well, let's go ahead and hit enter. When we hit enter, now we can basically identify the days of the week, whether it's a weekday or it's the weekend. So, so far our date dimension table is looking spectacular. All right, so we'll go ahead and end it there. Um, just to keep it simple so this will be your date dimension table so now when you come here to your date to your date dimension table you'll see that you have the actual date the month the month name the day the day name the year the quarter if you want the quarter name and then if you wanted to identify the weekday or the weekend hope you guys enjoyed this video my name is Carl We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.